I'm about to freeze my ass off. <laughs> All right, my friends, are you ready for our epic adventure? <laughs> so I don't know what the weather is like where you guys live, but here in the East Bay, it's freaking cold a lot of the time. Like in the summer, I'm often wearing jackets and I get a lot of comments from people like, what is going on? How are you wearing a jacket? And it's literally because in the East Bay, it's freaking cold. There was, Someone who said, oh, I'm blanking on who it was, but the coldest summer I ever had was a winter, oh, wait, the coldest winter I ever had was a summer in San Francisco. And I live just across the bridge from San Francisco. So anyways, here we have Indian summers. So it's like our summers like don't even start until September. And then it starts, I'm like, Finally, the heat has descended. But even so, it could be warm for a day and then the next day it could be cold. But we have some warm weather here, so I'm taking full advantage. And we're gonna do a fun adventure. <laughs> car camping in my car. And I'm all packed up and ready to go. Oh, just like warm. I feel like I could be naked walking around right now. I feel really good. But anyways, my hair got super windblown from driving with the windows open. But I think I brought my brush and I'm wondering if anyone remembers this brush. Oh no, <laughs> it's full of my hair. Does anyone remember this brush? I'm sure I talked about it in a video, if not made something about it, but it's my WeDo brush, handmade in Italy. These are wooden bristles, and this is real rubber, and it's a little wooden brush, and oh my gosh, it's just wonderful. Oh, it feels so good on my scalp. It's like a massage when I brush my hair. This brush is designed to help bring the natural oils down to the tips. Let's go get some dinner.
I got a yellow curry wok bowl with tofu. I think before we head to our camp spot, which is a little bit unknown, <laughs> I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, I'm wanting to eat this in the park. So we're gonna head over to the park and eat this wok bowl. This looks so good. So we've got tomato, cauliflower, uh, carrot, cabbage, onion, broccoli, tofu. I know there's brown rice down there and potato. How long do you guys think this is gonna take me to eat? Chewing properly? Let's time it. I'm curious. Guess. <laughs> Make a guess. I don't even know. It also has red curry sauce and coconut milk. It took me probably just under a half an hour to eat that because I moved some camera angles. <laughs> um, interesting, basically the same time as the macro bowl. I think because the things were cooked and stuff, I mean the veggies had some crunch so it took some chewing but okay a couple things I loved about that dish. I love that they use brown rice, I love that everything's organic and I love that it's fresh, you see them make it, they make it right there. Except, I mean, who knows how long the rice has been sitting there, but it was so good. My friend Doug, who was a full-time vehicle dweller, he still might be, I'm not sure, but he showed me some of his spots that he was like, you can stay here, you can car camp here, because I was living in my car full time and so he took me around and showed me some spots. I'm hoping I remember where they are and I can find one. And um, the reason I'm wanting to camp in this location is because of what we're gonna do in the morning. I wanna be close to it. All right, so I think I found one of his spots, and if not, it's a good spot. So I'm gonna show you, before it gets too dark, how I make my most favorite evening tea that I've been having. It's so delicious and so comforting and creamy, and it's just spectacular. All 
All right, so what this is, there's a tablespoon of Dandy Blend in here already. I'm gonna put a serving of monk fruit. This is hemp milk. This is seriously the best thing ever. You must, if you have Dendi Blend, some kind of milk, some kind of sweetener, hot water is the business. It's the business, it's so good. Nighttime has descended upon us. So before I get ready, get the cabin ready for sleepy time, I'm just gonna kick it and enjoy This is already so enjoyable drinking it at home, but when you're car camping or camping or anywhere but home, it's like times 10. All right, welcome to my cozy cocoon. I have changed into my comfy nighttime clothes, got my bed situated, I've got the car all ready for the night and I'm just going to kind of wash my face just with some water and this washcloth. All right, guys. I'm tucked in cozy. Well, it's actually such a warm night. I don't need any blankets right now. I'm like kind of sweating, so I'm just laying here. And I'm just gonna read. I've got my Kindle here. I'm just gonna relax. Can I hear the nature sounds? I can. I'm just gonna relax and listen to the crickets and read and have a really good night. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys. I'm just getting up here. It's still dark out. It's actually um, five forty nine, which is later than I wanted to get up, but oh man, I had quite the night. <laughs> I'll tell you about it in a minute.
trying to sleep and my freaking toe is throbbing like nobody's business. And it made it really hard to sleep. And besides that, it was like I was having the craziest, weirdest dreams. And one of them was like, disturbing and I usually don't even really like notice my dreams or remember them but I think because my throbbing toe kept waking me up I kept waking up out of dreams I don't know it was bizarre and I stubbed my toe so bad on my hike yesterday and it was bleeding and I think most of the nail is ripped up I don't know I haven't paid much attention to it because I've been I was really busy yesterday um but yeah ouch I feel like the throbbing has finally ended but it's still like pain um I guess when it happened there was just so much endorphins going because it didn't it hurt but it didn't feel that bad and I looked down and I was like, oh man, I'm bleeding. And I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like my whole nail is ripped up. <laughs> uh, but it didn't feel that bad, so I just carried on with the day and then it didn't feel that bad. And I guess I just, it just really hit me um, trying to sleep at night, so. Can you hear the water? So I'm here bright and early so I can do a nice morning meditation by this water. I'm so excited to be here. So this is the toe that kept me up that was totally throbbing last night. I think that line there is where the nail fully bent back. So it's probably gonna fall off eventually or something. It feels okay right now, I feel a little bit. The intense throbbing has stopped. So that's good. <laughs> All right guys. I'm about to freeze my ass off. <laughs> it's cold out here. It's gonna be even colder in there. We're gonna channel our inner Wim Hof. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna do it.
I don't have a hair tie. I don't have a hair tie. I don't think I want to get my hair wet. I have this. Hopefully this works. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was amazing. I feel so refreshed and alive and zinging. <laughs> it's wonderful. <sighs> to really feel the elements. You may or may not have recognized that spot from the spot that I came with Yasmin, but a big reason I wanted to come back here is because I saw that there was this hike just across the way and I wanted to take it. So that's what we're doing right now. We're going on this hike. That cool trail by the creek uh, was really short. So I'm taking this road trail and it's just a road trail. It's kind of like a road slash trail. And it's just a freaking incline the whole time. Uh, feels so good though, I love incline. That's when you're working, you know? But going down, it's just gonna be a decline the whole time. Oh my goodness.
probably not that hard. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Something I love about this packet of oats is it's just oats. That's it, that's all that's in here. That's so awesome. Most of the packets um, have much more stuff in them than just oats, or at least sugar. The chocolate is actually a chocolate collagen powder. It has stevia in it. It's like organic grass-fed. I don't know if I'm going to get it again, but it's really good in this. Here I'm just getting out of my car and I'm about to head down to this really cool beach. It's actually a nude beach, which means, you know, there's lots of naked people. <laughs> so I'm not doing any filming on the beach. I actually used to come to this beach with my mom when I was a kid and she would be naked and I was more conservative as a kid and I wouldn't. Um, but it's really, really nice to lay out under the sun with a naked body. I really enjoy it. Um, as well as I wanted to ground a little bit, connect with the earth, and I spent some time in this cave. And after that, I wanted to fill up my spring water. I like to get this water. I like to take it home. I like to drink it. I love spring water so much, and it's such a blessing to be able to get this water and I'm super grateful. And I just wanted to make a quick Instagram announcement. I have some people I'm not approving to uh, follow me on there because I'm just concerned that they're trolls, but I'm not 100%. So please email me if you want to follow me on Instagram and I haven't approved you and you're not a troll and I'd be happy to approve you. I'm sorry if I've left anyone hanging. I'm just being a little bit careful. Thanks guys. I love y'all so much. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.